Okay, team. Hey, this is 1.2, and we're solving multi-step equations. Now, uh, we've already looked at single-step equations. We've already done that. And uh, our steps for a single-step equation, isolate the variable, use inverses to undo the equation, uh, and we have to keep the equation balanced. So what we do to one side, we have to do the other. And uh, now we're, we're just doing the same thing, except for now there's often more than one step. And I um, organize those steps for you so you can go through these steps each time to solve a multi-step equation. Uh, so let's look at an example. Um, well, the distributive property isn't going to apply because there's no parentheses, by the way. This is what the distributive property would look like, but that doesn't apply. Combine like terms, um, that doesn't apply either because that's a variable term. That's a constant term. I can't add those together. You also can't combine like terms over an equal sign. Can't do that. So in this case, step one and two, we're not going to worry about those. Um, but I do have two different inverse operations to undo, or two different opposites that I need to do in order to get x by itself, aka isolate the variable. So let's get x by itself. I can see that there's multiplication going on at 1.5 times x. There's also addition going on when we're adding 15. Let's start by undoing addition. So let's go ahead and subtract from both sides. I'm going to minus 15. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. I have to keep the equation balanced. Um, positive 15 and minus 15, that cancels out. That's exactly what we want. We want it to cancel out. I still have this 1.5x, though, so let's carry that down. That's still there, 1.5x. 24 minus 15, and it's going to leave me with 9. Okay, that's good. Uh, now I have a single step equation. I used a 1 inverse, simplified my equation. Now it's a single step. Now I have to undo this multiplication. Let's divide both sides by 1.5. Um, 1.5 divided by 1.5 is 1. I'm left with 1x. Let's carry down that x. On the other side, 9 divided by 1.5. Well, I might just use a calculator, make sure I don't make a mistake. I got 9 divided by 1.5. And we got 6, final answer. OK, good. Um, now, this last little note here um, tells me that I can check my work by plugging in my answer back into the original equation. So let's do that at least once and check to make sure this actually does work. So 1.5 times 6, 1.5 times x. Instead of x, I'm using my value for x. We think that x is 6, so that's what I'm going to use here. 1.5 times x, so that's me plugging it in, plus 15 equals 24. And is that true? That's the question that I'm asking. Is that actually true? Does that work? So let's find out. I'm going to go to my calculator, and I, and I think I can do this in one swoop of my calculator. 1.5 times 6. Let's see what that is. It's 9 plus 15 plus 15. And that is 24. So 24 equals 24. That's my check. That's true. So I know that this is the right value. OK, um, I'm going to go ahead and do number three in the same video. So this time, uh, I am going to need to combine like terms. So I'm going to glance at my steps again. And the goal is to get the variable by itself. And in this case, there's two different variable terms. 
which is why I'm going to immediately combine like terms. I'm going to combine like terms. So negative 4 ends minus 8 ends. I want to do that first. Turns out that's negative 12n. Negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12n. Okay, that's great. That's combining like terms. Now I have multiplication, negative 12 times n. I also have addition plus 17. I have to start by undoing the addition and subtraction. So opposite of plus 17 is minus 17. I'm going to do that to both sides. The 17s cancel out, leaving me with negative 12n. 23 minus 17 is 6. Okay, great. Now it's a single step equation. To undo this multiplication, I'm going to divide. Divide by negative 12, divide by negative 12. Cancel, cancel, leaving me with just. And I have just enough space down there. 6 divided by a negative 12. That is negative 1 half, negative 1 half. So n equals negative 1 half or negative 0.5. Same thing. Both of those would be good. Okay. Well, team, I'm going to leave you to do two and four on your own. Um, following, like, one and two are basically the same thing. Three and four are basically the same thing. So I'm going to let you do those on your own. My next video is going to show you how to actually use this distributive property piece. So that will be my next video.